Hey guys, Starless from Kill from Unitlost.com, and this is another cast from the UK, UTL. Oh yeah! And it's from Group H. Uh, it's Surrey versus. Oh, hang on, that's not the right button I want to press. That's right, it's Surrey versus. Um, uh, Barnwell score six form, that's right. <laughs> All these six forms of universities, they go crazy and send the lad's brain into the abyss. And we've got Icefire, who hails from the University of Surrey, against. Now, we had a bit of a debate before we started the cast. Is that. Is GL his clan name or something? We just don't know. So it's either Gliscor or Iscor. So it's it's over to Kiriof what we're going to name him for the rest of the cast. Um, we're we're going to call him Corey. <laughs> no, we'll call him Gliscor, you madman. Corey? <laughs> you calling him Corey? What the hell? It's No, no, just no, son. Get out. <laughs> I'll throw you off the side of one of these buildings on Metropolis. Not Metropolis, oh, no. as we always say. <laughs> Superman will save me. Dun, 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 dun. No, that's the A-team, but I'm going to roll with it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and that could be the intro. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the intro for our sponsor. So every time we come to introduce him, you can sing that. And uh, the sponsor is, of course, CynicalBrit.com. It's what a total thing? biscuit. The thing is, if I think I'll get a nasty email if I do that. So yeah, check out CynicalBrit.com. Amazing, amazing. Subscribe to Total Alibut on uh, YouTube. Google Total Biscuit, you'll find him. Everybody knows about him. Mostly everyone loves him. We love him. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh, it's all nice over here in unitlast.com's world. <laughs> Little fluffy pink world of, of... Of wind. Acid and... Acid and bile and filth and collapse. Ultimate collapse. <laughs> so, yeah, they know where each other are. They've... Uh, or do they? Or do they? Yes, they do. <laughs> a little, uh, little bit of abuse of the old vision tool, which we recently found out about, <laughs> being the uh, the amazing pro casters we are. So Ice Fight is just sitting in the middle of Gliscor's base, just well, just chilling. He's seen that there's a uh, spawning pool, but there's no hatchery yet, which is like, what's going to happen here? Is he going to go for some fast? Uh, well, he ain't going to go for fast anything, is he? Mr. Stylos, just stop talking crap. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm having a conversation with myself. Maybe this is the some of the early signs of. Mental illness. I don't know. If you're a psychologist, get on to me. <laughs> I think it's well beyond the early signs, ain't it? It's almost like the state of Kiriov Skype. <laughs> anyway, we, we, we carry on. We soldier on. So here comes the uh, drone off Gliscor. He's, uh, yeah, he was going to put a hatchery down, but Icefire knows what's going on. Icefire should attack him. Oh, he's going to have problems now. Two Zergans are moving out, but it, and another two are joining them, but they don't care about the probe. Come uh, on. Oh, they do Come now. On. They do now, bloke. They're all after him. Yeah, it's, <laughs> the circling's right. actually blocked the hatchery there. <laughs> Dirty little buggers. Oh, oh dear, that's bad. I has gone back onto the creep. He's going to get mugged. Yeah, he's absolutely been binned. He's been sent away, sent to the abyss, gone, smashed to pieces. Whatever way you want to you want to look at it, you want to describe it, he's dead. He's not coming back. Although he's not really dead, is he? Because he was a drone, he was a machine, a computer. He, he can't really die unless the AI has advanced to such a level where he actually was sentient. I, 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 yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> it's probably best not to speculate. True, I, I won't speculate. Or uh, make wild assumptions, because we all know what assumption is, don't we, son? We all know. <laughs> Are we going to go for the censored version or the full-on? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it to the audience, son. They know. If they don't know, then let's... Uh, Google it <laughs> or watch Aliens. Don't he say it on Aliens? I think he does, don't he? <laughs> yeah, I think it is Aliens. <laughs> Along with Game Over, man, Game Over. Oh. So he's, he's nice and tight, nice and secure. Ice Fire is in his base. He's got two sentries out in a zealot. There's no way he's going to get in with them Zerglings. He's uh, touchy feeling him up, Glacier is, to see what's going down. Glacier? <laughs> Glacier. <laughs> Gliscor. <laughs> I tell you what, these names, they send me wild. It's like we can't have a simple name. We'll have a crazy name with loads of caps in it. So nobody can possibly read it. Any, any, anybody who tries to cast it ends up looking like a fool. <laughs> anyway. So the hatchery's down there. He took his natural now. Um, <laughs> Gliscor has. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit slow at the moment. No action. We're not seeing any... Uh, any it's little skirmishes. The Stargate's going down, though. I mean, we've seen a Stargate, a Stargate not a Scargate, because that would be a sickening construction, uh, <laughs> in the previous Group H game between um, Surrey and... Uh, <laughs> Barnwell 6-4. So we've got loads of Zerglings moving out. I don't think... Is he probably going to try and go for a Bainling bust? Probably. He's built that many Zerglings. That's usually the case. 
Although he does seem to love Zerglings. <laughs> yeah, true. He's waiting for him to expand, then he's going to totally mug him. <laughs> but the longer he leaves Ooh. Ice Fire in his base, the worse he's going to get. We've got Void Rays on the way as well, which I think was Kiriof was about to moan about because I heard him go. Ooh. Oh, I love Ki Ooh. I love it when we see Void Rays. They're, they're quite the underused unit these days. Yeah, the lovely, lovely little unit of Void Rays, but not when it's all over your base, killing all your boys. But it, especially when it's all over your base, killing your boys. <laughs> it's not something you want to see. It's bad times, that is. It looks like he's about to take his natural as well, Ice Fire. Although he's going to get killed and mugged, and now he's dead. Poor little pro got sent away. Killed dead, son. Killed dead. Nothing left of the lad. The uh, the Roach Warren's going down. So he's got a lot of Zerglings. So Zerg Roach. Or Ling Roach, even. Is that a Bane oh, in there? No. The Evolution Chamber's going down as well. So it's I think Ice Fire's just completely given away his advantage with that. Yeah. Void Red. I don't think. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're getting at. There. Yeah, he should have just. He should have massed up a couple of them. Maybe got four, three or four void rays and gone over, killed the queens, and then it would have been GG. Because we've got double evolution chambers down now. Um, Gliscor knows that void rays are on the field, so it's up to him now to react to it. He's building two more queens, or he's birthing queens, whatever the hell the Zerg do. Mutating them. Sickening. Oh, well, I just watched one pop out of its egg and it looked rancid. I don't ever want to see that ever again in my whole life, ever, ever again. So now he's got a bit of anti-air. He'll be able to stop this. He's two Void Rays. They've got no chance. Might be able to take out that Overlord, though. Although he's going to take damage off the Queens. But so long as it, it's not actual damage to the hull. <laughs> Just shields. Although he's verging on taking some real damage. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, he's took the damage. So not really the best outcome. But he can take out these Overlords hovering in the gap. 